All right, here are my official grades for the Russell Wilson to Denver trade. I think the Denver Broncos get an A minus grade. And I think the Seahawks get an A grade. I thought this was a pretty fair trade. Now, look, I think Denver could have given up a bit less knowing Russell Wilson is coming off of a season. It was arguably the worst of his career where he was injured and he just didn't play like Russell Wilson of old everyone so look I thought you could have given up two firsts maybe one second one third but instead they gave up two firsts in two seconds and no offense for a guy who was injured last year and wildly inconsistent so that was a little head scratcher there but we know the quarterback that Russell Wilson is when he's consistent when he's healthy and that's the type of quarterback that the Denver Broncos need they had Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater last year obviously not consistent enough quarterbacks obviously not even top 20 quarterbacks in the NFL so with the defense and the weapons that the Broncos have they need really a quarterback to really unlock that all I won't say they're a quarterback away but a quarterback will really take the Broncos a long way and they got that in Russell Wilson for me Russell Wilson isn't the final piece of the puzzle. We still have to see how good Nathaniel Hackett will be as the Broncos head coach. So there's a lot of things still uh, really pending of how this situation will play out. But look, you got an elite quarterback. An elite quarterback is what the Broncos needed. So they get an A- minus in this. And then the Seahawks, they get an A. The draft compensation and the fact that they got no offense just incredible i thought they did good in the draft compensation they got also knowing they got no offense so look you can either pick malik wills this year or wait till next year to probably pick a guy like bryce young or go get a guy like cj stroud or if you want to go get spencer rattler any of those three guys you want to get it's a pretty deep quarterback draft class next year so the seahawks kind of set themselves up pretty well to go get a hair apparent to russell wilson they can either wait it out a year or get a guy like Malik Wills this year as they have the number nine pick this year and have that Denver Broncos pick. So it's it's really a good situation here for the Seahawks. Now, will they trade DK? Will they trade Tyler Lockett? We'll see, but I think those two with Chris Carson and Rashad Penny and Noah Fant is a really, really good situation for any quarterback that wants to go to Seattle, also knowing that Pete Carroll is the head coach. Now, that offensive line is still a question but no matter what rookie or young quarterback that the Seattle Seahawks get, I think they'll be coming into a good situation as long as the Seahawks just leave it the way that it is, everyone. So look, Seahawks get an A for the compensation and the fact that they got Noah Fant. And the Broncos get an A- minus, knowing, hey, you finally got your elite quarterback. But I thought they could have given a bit less knowing what kind of season Russell Wilson had last year, everyone. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Go watch all my other NFL trade grades on the Ultimate Sports TV, everyone. Other than that, this has been Malik Hicks, a.k.a. the Ranker of the Ultimate Sports TV, signing off. Peace out, and I'll see you on the other side.